everyone, I am back with another video, as I should be, and um, I really didn't know what to film because since uh, Topic finished two weeks ago, my like study life has been very relaxed, very mm, non-existent, if I may, and I have just been reading books and enjoying the time that I don't have to study for topic. <laughs> um, so on Instagram I asked like what do you guys want to see? Like do you want me to do like a uh, like an updated video about what Korean textbooks I have? And yeah, <laughs> people really wanted to see that and I guess I understand it's my original one is my most popular video on YouTube, so uh, I thought, why not do an updated one? Most of the books shown in that last video, um, I've either recycled, um, sold, or like finished and just don't have them anymore, because I'm not really someone who keeps um, like lower level books that I've finished. So yeah, I thought I'd come with you guys, come to you guys with a, an updated uh, what Korean textbooks I have. Um, I'm going to divide it into parts, so I'm going to, thank you, <laughs> I'm going to do first uh, vocabulary books, grammar books, reading books, and then like random slash speaking books. My camera's shaking, I'm stuck here. <laughs> so um, yeah, I will divide it like that. There will be chapters in the description so that you guys can click to what you want to see so yeah let's go go so the first books that I'm going to show you are the vocabulary books and I have quite a lot even though I don't really use them um, but I thought I'd show you them anyways um, the first one I have is this one you've seen it before it's the New Zealand way 결정적 표현들 so this is a book for Koreans learning English um, like news words and stuff like that, but I bought it because it's very easy to use with like the opposite way. Um, also, I forgot to say I'm not going to show like the insides of these books. Um, most of them have been shown in my other videos, so if you're curious about a certain book, leave a comment and I'll direct you to which video talks more about them. So yeah. So the next ones I have are a set and it's the new style Korean books. Um, the idioms, the kwanyong, what is it? Kwanyong pyohyun? I'm not quite sure. Maybe these are idioms. Anyways, I don't know. There's these two, and then there's the isangwa, and um, yeah. I've used this one a little bit when I was studying for the topic, but I didn't really um, get very far into it, um, and then I haven't touch these ones yet. This book I have is the Yonsei Vocabulary Practice for Foreigners. This is the intermediate book and I have used it quite a bit. Um, I actually, I really like it. Um, I like the exercises they give you at the end of each like part and I like how they um, separate based on like topic. Like the first one is like about people. So like personalities, emotions, descriptions, stuff like this. Then I have this book which you've seen in a couple of my other videos. It's the Mind Map Topic uh, Vocabulary book. Um, I really like this one. Um, I find it really helpful to learn through mind maps and making relations in between words. So if you can learn well like that, then I also suggest this book. Um, Again, like I have said and probably will say again, I don't just study vocab, so I use a lot of these books as like reference books, and I think this one's really good. Um, it's really short, uh, like each chapter or like part section is really short, and you can honestly just do like one mind map whenever you're feeling like learning some vocab, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> and so with these books, with all of these vocab books, um, I don't study everything, I just study like what I'm interested in, I jump around, sometimes I study like I'll just open and just study a random one, or I will study um, like 
a few words and I never focus on the words I already know. I <laughs> just, it's a waste of time. But yeah, so that's the mind map uh, vocabulary book. And the next vocabulary book I have is this um, Topic Advanced Vocabulary. I bought this uh, when I had like one month left until Topic because I really wanted to get into more advanced vocabulary and then I never used it. So um, this is something I'm going to focus on in 2022 um, and I'm going to make some like random goal of like studying just like five words a week. Uh, I don't want to pressure myself to study vocabulary. Um, I'll come across vocabulary when it's necessary for me and that's how I learn anyways. Like there's no point of me studying a vocabulary list uh, because I won't use half of the words. So yeah, but this one's really good. Um, I haven't showed the inside, but eventually I will, um, but not in this video. So yeah, that's the, I don't know, like, it's just a, oh, it's Hanu Publishing. That's all I know. But yeah, Topic Advanced Vocabulary. Uh, the next two books are Hanja books, which is like the traditional Chinese characters that a lot of Korean words are based on. Um, one you've seen before and one I'm not sure you guys have seen, but yeah. The first one is this 50 Sino-Korean um, 2000 vocabulary words or whatever. Yeah, building 2000 words with the 50 most powerful Chinese characters. Um, I've used this a bit and I really enjoy it. Uh, I like learning Hanja. I think it is really helpful for learning groups of vocabulary or at least being able to recognize uh, new words faster. Um, I think it's really, really helpful and I highly recommend this book. Um, when I've finished it, I'm going to do like a full review on Instagram and on YouTube. Stay tuned for that. It probably won't be until next year, but whatever. It's fun to work through. Um, again, if you're like an intermediate learner and you're struggling with like retaining vocabulary, I highly suggest learning some of the most common hanja and like the words related to the hanja too so yeah and my last vocabulary book is a super fun one and i bought it because um my friend rose recommended it to me and that is a beginner hanja book written for korean children who have started learning hanja um they have a level system for Hanja in Korean schools and 8 is the lowest level, 1 is the highest level. And so I just picked this up at Gyomo one day. It's literally like $6. These books, they're super thin. Um, it's just a lot of like writing the words and doing some activities. But they also give you this page that you can cut out and they're flashcards. Um, so you can like study that way they're perforated so you can just like rip them out and yeah so that's this one that is it for the vocabulary books so let's move on to the reading books so i was under the impression that i had a lot of reading textbooks i only have three <laughs> um i guess these days when i'm like reading studying i'm just reading novels so let me just quickly show you the three reading books I have. You've literally seen them all. I've talked about all three of these books in like several videos and they're on my Instagram and they're on everyone else's Instagram. So yeah, um, it's gonna be quick. So the first one is this one. It's the News in Korean book by Talk To Me In Korean. Um, super easy. Uh, if you're around topic level three, and you want to read more news or get more practice reading news whether it be for topic studying or just for fun i highly recommend this book quite simple um i study by i listen to the audio file while reading then i read again find the words i don't know and then i do the short pa activity page maybe like 10 minutes per article or less um yeah i really like using this i'm about halfway finished now actually so I'm going to um, be posting a review about this soon and so I'm not going to tell you too much about it now but I do really like it for intermediate news study. The next one is the Munwa ga Hangul 3 
Um, I finished this one. It's literally all finished and I really like these books. I really like cannot recommend them enough to anyone who wants to read Korean culture and also like just practice reading that's a little bit more academic than studying with a novel. Um, the cultural readings are really relevant. There's a lot of like lifestyle, like living in Korea, like Korean culture and health, uh, stuff like that. It's super fun, highly recommend. This one's quite easy. The articles are just two pages. Um, the like main words are translated into English for you. My dog is like me. Um, the main words are translated into English for you on the sides of the articles. And yeah, it's quite good. I finished it in like about a month and I really liked it. So I bought the fourth one too. Um, I haven't started it yet because I did get caught up with my topic studying and um, but now that that's finished I'm going to start this like literally today um, I'm really excited um, uh, this one's a little harder um, they don't translate the words into English if I'm correct oh no they do they do it's from five that they stop um, so these again I highly recommend them to people who want to get into reading in Korean but don't know what to read or don't want to start a novel don't want to push themselves too hard they have levels one through six um level one i assume would be pretty basic pretty simple and uh they get harder as they go um the activities get a little bit harder i think five and six um the articles are an extra page longer and that's when they stop translating the words into english for you um but yeah really recommend i can't wait to buy five and six so as soon as i'm finished four i'm buying the next two and just gonna keep going because i really really enjoy using these books so that was my three reading books um again like i said for studying reading i just like to read novels up here these are all korean novels that i've read a couple or i've started and um yeah so that's how i study reading mostly but yeah let's move on to grammar slash general books so let's go um i have one two three four five six grammar books um these days i don't really study grammar um the way i study grammar is if i'm reading a book and i notice a grammar point that i don't really know i will just quickly look it up on my phone make a quick note of it and then just keep reading um, for me, that has been more effective for learning and remembering grammar. So I don't really use these books anymore, but uh, I will. <laughs> so let's start. So the first one I have is this Seoul University uh, Korean 4A book. I bought this on a whim one day. I have the workbook too. I'm not going to show it separately. Uh, I bought this on a whim one day and I was like, let's try another university textbook and see if I can handle it. Not handle it, but if I like it, Ducky, Ojima. <laughs> Ducky wants to cuddle. Um, so yeah, I bought these, and when I do study with it, I actually try to book an italki lesson and study with a teacher because it's easier to get the feedback for. So I have these Seoul National uh, University textbooks. I've only done two units of it. It's good for vocabulary, um, but the speaking, like I said, speaking and writing is kind of hard to get the um, feedback if you don't have someone to go through it with. So sometimes I make my boyfriend go through it with me, sometimes I get an italki tutor, and yeah, so that's these ones. So the next book I have is, was a gift from my boyfriend. Um, it is the Correct Your Korean book. His basis for buying me this was... You're really easy to understand, but you make a lot of basic mistakes. <laughs> so he bought me this and I go through this very slowly, just like if I get confused when I'm writing or if I get confused when I'm trying to make a sentence and I'm like, oh wait, did I use that right? I just find it in here and I just check. <laughs> so yeah, that's the Correct Your Korean book. Highly recommend. It's good as a reference text, not as a main grammar text and it's better if you know these grammar points like 
don't use it as like your first grammar resource because it's gonna be really hard to follow because it expects you to have known like know these things already just fix them so yeah that one then you've seen this one before long ago it's the KIIP old version of the intermediate one grammar um, I watch uh, YouTube videos when I do this. Um, it's been a while since I used it actually. However, I really enjoyed going like watching the teacher while also um, learning these. It's very fun that way. And probably I'll finish it just for the sake of finishing it. Um, but actually, I've already studied a lot of the grammar in here. So I feel like it might be a waste of my time to use it as like a main resource. So that one, uh, super cheap like seven dollars because it's from a government program that's free so they don't charge too much for the book so yeah so the next one is the love of my life it's the vitamin korean uh four book um i have a whole video about like reviewing the number two and three um i've used and finished the second and third book i don't have them anymore because like i said i don't keep resources that i've finished if i can't use them well for reference um, so I did recycle them because they were really written up. I didn't, I didn't want to try and sell them. So yeah, I like these. Again, the speaking and writing, you kind of need, my dog is digging the corner. So you kind of need to have like uh, a tutor if you want to do those, or you can try and do them solo. Just try to get some feedback. Um, I do the writing and then I get my boyfriend to correct it. But yeah, um, that's this one. Uh, you, I will link my review for book two and three down in the description. And um, I recommend. These are quite lovely books. I stand by them as a main resource. And uh, from book three, they're all in Korean, but books one and two are in English and Korean. So you can use them as a beginner as well. Then another book that I really like is the Binnobyeon Topic. Uh, it's grammar. Um, it's divided into like things you know for the test, things you have to know, things you should know, and things that are good to know, like this. And I really like it kind of as a reference, as like a refresher. Um, so I've, I've used it quite a bit. It's getting to be in pretty rough shape. You can't really tell in the video. But I always use this for reviewing after I've like learned something in the Vitamin Korean book. So, yeah, I don't know, this video is going really fast and I feel like it might not be helpful. But like I said, if you want to know any more information about any of these books, just leave a comment and I can either reply, link you to something else, or yeah. So that's the Bindo Pyo Topic. This is the intermediate one. And um, I really enjoy using this. It's so simple. Some, it can be a little off-putting at first because it's not very pretty. It's not, there's no like drawings, there's no like cute pictures it's all just text and like exercises uh that put me off at first but once i figured out how to use the book i really really enjoy it i highly highly recommend this book as well and my last grammar book is uh the book everyone knows these books it's the korean grammar and use intermediate um again this is not to be used as a main grammar resource uh use it as a reference or a refresher for grammar that you've already learned somewhere else um, if you want to use it as a main book, like if you just want to buy this and have it, I suggest getting some more uh, explanation online. Like if you just type a grammar point and say like blah, 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 grammar, and then uh, there's so many resources you can use on the internet. Uh, how I use this is basically when I finish um, a vitamin korean book i to review vitamin korean i find all the grammar points in here and i do them that way so i am not working through this book from start to finish i'm jumping around finding like what i've already learned i'm um, doing the exercises reviewing the differences and yeah so i think i'm going to make a more in-depth video about korean grammar and use uh, about how i study with it because I still see a lot of people using this as their main resource and then complaining about how difficult it is and like how they aren't grasping the grammar. 
so I uh, yeah I'm gonna explain a little bit about how I use this book uh, more in depth and um, hope that some people can get some ideas for how to effectively use this book without feeling overwhelmed by it so yeah that was all the grammar books um, <clears throat> I have some topic books uh, I'm wondering if I want to show them because I have recently made some topic books videos but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show them super quick say the name if I liked it or not and then I'm gonna link some videos in the description where I talk more about them so one second let's get the topic books ready topic books let's go super fast um, first one the topic Hangonimyeon OK book uh, really good. I liked it. It was great when I studied the topic the first time. English and Korean translations, but quite simple. Uh, leaves a lot to be desired. So yeah. Next one is the topic recipe. Um, favorite. Seriously, like I'll never use another topic prep book. Um, when I take, if I when or if I take the topic again and try to go for a six, just this. You don't need another topic book if you have this. Um, only Korean explanations, however, they're really easy to understand and you can use the internet to help uh, explain things that you're not quite grasping. Really great, really love it. Seriously, I'm never going to use another topic prep book. This is all I need. Along with that, I have the topic to um, practice exams book. People ask me to review this, uh, however, it's just practice exams, nothing else. Next one is the Cracking the Topic 2 writing. Super good, really in depth. It goes, it breaks each writing question into parts so you can learn uh, slowly, <laughs> which I really needed to do because like I said, I study writing on my own. I've only had like three questions corrected by a teacher. Um, so this really helps break down, especially the 54 question. It starts you from like how to write descriptive sentences well, like how to start, how to like how to break up the essay, like things like this. I probably will never use a different topic writing book except for like whatever is in the topic recipe. Um, highly, highly recommend. I don't see this talked about very often. Um, I'm gonna do a review soon. Uh, maybe time it for the January topic, but yeah, I super love this highly suggest there's english and korean so you can follow along in both languages so. last one i have is the yonsei topic listening it's kind of just practice practice exams with like short explanations of each question type i didn't like it i used it one time um the compared to the topic recipe book it's hard it's so hard like, I think even the topic listening questions on the actual exam are easier than the questions they give you in here. Um, <laughs> I even tried to sell it at Aladdin and they wouldn't take it because they can't sell it. <laughs> so I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but I'm just going to be honest and say that I didn't like it. But, so that's why I still have it, because Aladdin wouldn't take it and it's brand new so I really don't want to recycle it. So yeah, Yonsei topic listening, don't recommend. Okay, <laughs> wow, I feel like that video is a mess, uh, however, I just wanted to put something on here. Uh, I haven't, like, been that creative lately because I've been not in a study slump, but more like just taking it easy. Well, thank you for watching, and if you stuck until the end, you're a plus fan. And yeah, so uh, I really am struggling to think of what to put on here. Um, I do want to make more vlogs, but I feel like you guys don't like them that much. So I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. And yeah, so thank you for watching and I'll see you guys again in my next video. Feel free to comment or message me on Instagram. Just chat. I like making new study friends and yeah. So bye.